Hello everyone, welcome to Error Genie. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix Indiana Jones and the Great Circle not launching on PC. If the game won't launch, follow these step-by-step -step instructions to troubleshoot and resolve the issue. Let's get started. Step 1. Update your graphics card driver via Device Manager. Open Device Manager. Right-click the Start menu and select Device Manager. Locate your graphics card. Expand Display Adapters to find your graphics card e.g. NVIDIA or AMD. Right-click on your card, select Update Driver, then choose Browse My Computer for Drivers. Select Driver Manually. Click Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers. Select your graphics card, click Next, and let the installation complete. Restart if needed. Restart your PC if the game doesn't launch immediately after the update. Step 2. Perform a clean installation of graphics drivers. For NVIDIA users, visit the NVIDIA Drivers page, enter your graphics card details, and download the latest game-ready driver. During installation, select Custom Installation, check Perform a Clean Installation, and proceed. For AMD users, go to the AMD Support page, use the Auto Detect tool, or manually download the correct driver, install the driver, and restart your PC. Step 3. Run the game on your dedicated graphics card. Open Graphics Settings. Search for graphics settings in the Windows search bar, add the game, click Desktop App, then Browse, navigate to your game's installation folder, and select the game's .exe file. Set High Performance GPU. After adding the game, select Options and choose High Performance to ensure it runs on your dedicated graphics card. Step 4. Roll back graphics drivers. For some users, reverting to an older driver version has fixed the issue. Go to your GPU manufacturer's website and download an older driver version. During installation, choose Custom Installation and check Perform a Clean Installation. Restart your PC after installation. Step 5. Delete game configuration files. Locate config files. Open File Explorer and navigate to C colon backslash users, backslash your username, backslash saved games, backslash machine games, backslash great circle, backslash base backup, and delete. Copy the config.cfg file to a safe location optional. Delete the original file and try launching the game. If needed, delete the entire machine games folder to reset all settings. Step 6. Run the game as administrator. Locate the game file. Right-click the games.exe file in its installation folder. Select Properties, then go to the Compatibility tab. Enable admin mode. Check run this program as an administrator. Click apply, then launch the game. Optional compatibility settings. If needed, set compatibility mode to Windows 8 and disable full screen optimizations. Step 7. Verify game files. On Steam, right click the game in your library, select properties, then go to the installed files tab. Click Verify Integrity of Game Files and wait for the process to complete. On Game Pass, use the app's repair tool or reinstall the game if verification isn't an option. Step 8. Update Windows and adjust Virtual Memory Update Windows. Go to Settings, then Windows Update, and install all available updates. Increase Virtual Memory. Search for Advanced System Settings, click Settings under Performance, and adjust the virtual memory to recommended values based on your RAM. Step 9. Reinstall the game to a different drive. If the game is installed on an external or secondary drive, uninstall it and reinstall it on your primary SSD, usually the C, drive. Step 10. Disable third-party apps. Close any FPS monitoring software or overlays as they can interfere with the game. By following these steps, you should be able to fix the launch issues with Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. If this video helped you, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more easy troubleshooting guides from Error Genie. Thank you for watching, and happy gaming!